Alright y'all, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming as I bring you more Arizona Diamondbacks Desert Venom Baseball. As we take on the Cincinnati Reds, immediately following, I guess you could call it a major trade. The guy on the right, Christian Pache, is now our new center fielder. And on the mound, it'll be Sonny Gray, the former New York Yankee. 7-3 on the season, 2.64 ERA and a 1.14 whip. He's pitching pretty well for the Reds this season. He face leadoff batter Ray Gian, who's batting much better at home than he is on the road, putting up the majority of his RBI numbers at Chase Field. And he will strike out on an absolutely disgusting slur. The first out of the first. Here's Christian Pache batting second. I don't think he's going to stay batting second. Ooh. He swings and misses at the first pitch. You can see pretty average across the board. Not batting too well. So we probably got him for maybe a little less than we should have, you know, paid, quote unquote, for him in a trade. I mean, it was a one for one trade. Pache for La Castro. Uh, as Pache is a significantly better fielder than Cattell Marte, who will now be playing second base. Here he is in a 1-2 count. Can he get his first hit as a D-back? That's back-to-back -back batters as he swung and missed at a slur. All right, can tell Martin's first at bat at second base this season. I might have played him there at some point last season, and he is proving his worth with the bat at least. He takes that one crazy deep, 419 feet for his eighth home run of the season. I mean, listen, if he's going to continue to hit pretty well, you can stay at second because, I mean, he's be, he'd be one of the better offensive second basemen in all of baseball. And we need offense. Anyway, Trey Mancini will be up next. And what do you know? Three of the four batters have struck out via the slur. Damn. Here's Rick Slade. He's got an opposite record of Sonny Gray, 3-7, and seven, but with a 5-0-9 ERA. And Brandy Arena will be the first batter he faces. Gentleman I contemplated trading for last year. He swings and misses at a fastball with outside and high. The first, first out. You can see he swung late and above it. The potential future Hall of Famer Joey Votto hits it to left. He will not get hit number 2176, and he'll have to wait till his next AB. Batting third. The left fielder. Here's the starting lineup for the Reds. I'm surprised the Rosarena batted leadoff. Whatever. Votto, Winker, Suarez, Mustakis, Hanniger playing right field. Jonathan India is short. Brett Sullivan is their catcher. And Sonny Gray will be batting last. Faces the powerful Jesse Winker, and he's going to chop this one to Mark Tay, scoop on the backhand, fires. We get out of the first on skate. We got to be careful of that big red machine, too. Listen, I know this isn't the 90s reds, but these guys do hit for power. There's Mike Moustakis. First AB. Woo! I know you heard that one. Deep to center. Pache. Leaps! It is just out of his grasp. 14th home run for Mike Moustakis. And the Reds tie this ball game up almost immediately at 1. Moustakis, Suarez, Arozarena, Winker. That's four guys that you really got to worry about with the power bat. And what do you know? Jonathan India putting some spice on it. Taking him deep. Back-to-back -back home runs for the Reds. Rick Slade definitely known for giving up the long ball this season. Ay ay ay! Come on, get it together, man. Brett Sullivan up next. He's going to hit this one into right field. Aquino runs it down. We get through two as they put up two on our heads. Rick Slade in his first event. I'm surprised I'm showing this. And oh my goodness. 
That slurve is doing some real damage to their fifth strikeout for Sonny Gray. As it's back to the top of the order, strikeout leaders for the Reds, Castillo Gray. Mahal is third on the team. Sonny Gray tries to help out his own cause with Chopper back up the middle. It's going to roll in the center. Pache gets it back into the infield. It's a single for the pitcher. Rosarena signed out of Cuba. Again, I did think about trading for him. And of course, he's going to make me pay. Deep to center. Pache leaps again. Oh my goodness. Third home run in as many innings. Given up by Rick Slade. These boys dap them up again. They got, what, four, five serious power hitters? Like, Pache is a great fielder, but come on. You, you can only reach butt so far. Joey Votto takes this one deep. Is it going to get out? It's going to hang up near the warning track. Pache makes the catch. All right, Jesse Winker spent his entire five-year career here in Cincinnati. I think he's a free agent in a couple seasons, and he's going to jam this, this sweeping curveball in the left field for a single. Slade, please get it together. Next pitch, Suarez chops it past Campos, I believe, at short. Gets it back in the infield by Gein. We got runners at first and second, and Mike Moustakas has already blasted one deep. One-two pitch. Splitter just below the zone. I see Slater's looking for the ground ball at this point. Good idea. And he gets the inside splitter call. I'm surprised. That looked a little bit too far inside on him. Michael Jordan pitch two. Left and oh, Guillen misplayed the hell out of that. Pache is going to have to retrieve the ball. Fires it into the infield, but two runners are going to score. It is six to one here in the third on the two run double by Hanniger. Jonathan India has already blasted one to left. He's going to chop this one on the ground. Shortstop the first, and we get out of the third inning. We got one hit, and it was only by Mr. Marte. We've got to get some offense going. Speaking of which, here he comes up to the plate. First pitch. Ooh, hard hit shot to right field. But it's a line drive, and Marte gets on with his second hit of the ball game. All right, Trey Mancini. He's going to rope one in the right field as well. Back-to-back -back hits with one away. Here for the D-backs, Eduardo Escobar. He had a RBI in the last game. Could definitely use one right now. And the slurve. My goodness. Six strikeout for Sonny Gray. The Gray kind of matching our morale at this moment. We're in last place in the division. Of course, that probably goes without saying. Aquino hits this one high to left. But with two outs, it is going to be warning track fodder. Unfortunately, Mr. Red there doing a little dance. His team is up five as we move on to the bottom of the fourth. Sorry, top of the fifth. My bad. Here's Marvin Gonzalez. 0 for 1 and... Bro, what are you looking at? Come on. We're just swinging at any and everything. If he throws the slur, just let it go. Don't even look at it. Spoke too soon. 80 mile an hour slur for the seventh, sorry, eighth strikeout for Sonny Gray. Rick Slade's day is done. I'm sorry. Four innings, six, eight hits, six runs given up. Jimmy Nelson will have to eat some innings. And what a horrible attempt at first by Mancini and even worse throw to the plate by Aquino. It is now 7-1. Oh, my goodness. 
India batting 750 against lefties, 263 against righties. Knuckle curve misses outside as Brett Sullivan, the catcher, is on deck. We're giving up base runners, we're giving up hits, we're giving up the long ball. It's like, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do anymore. Josh James trying to, again, eat some innings as the 12-6 curve is in the dirt. No one will advance, just not worth it. All right, the next episode will be uh, the All-Star Festive. This one's hit over Marte's head and rolls into the right center field gap. Hache will retrieve the baseball, gets it back in the infield. Two more will score. It is 10-1 to one here in the fifth. The pitcher, number 54, Sonny. Yeah, I think, I believe the next episode will be the All-Star break. I do try to record these in advance. We're just going to push on through this. Attack on two more in the sixth. We can't seem to get muster any offense. They get run number 13, make it 14. This might as well be a football game at this point. We t get three in the eighth, but can't really do much else as it's a little too little too late. Base is loaded. We pick up two runs. Get Okay. Oh, you know what? That's been a real issue for our offense. Early and in the middle of it, we might get some runs in the first. We'll go through the majority of the middle portion of the game, not getting anything, and then it'll be all hands on deck, and we get some in the seventh, eighth, or ninth. But by that point, we've given up so many runs. This is Raymond of State of the Franchise Gaming. I'll see y'all next one. Peace out.